So I was scrolling through my Steam library and I came across this game. I don't remember buying this. I think this is one of those games that came in uh, Humble Monthly or it's called Humble Choice now. I don't know. It looks like a good change of pace from what I usually play. So I'm going to check it out. Oh, looks like we started in this room. Oh, phone's ringing. Detective, hello, who is it? Supervisor, it's the supervisor. Hi, supervisor. Hey, how's life? Yeah, pretty good, I reckon. How are things with you? Me and the wife just got back from Indonesia. Ah, well, Salamat Datang Kambali. I can't pronounce that. That means welcome back, I think. Anyway, what are you calling about? Oh, right. I have a case for you. Cool. It's a pretty spooky one, so hold tight. I'm holding on. There's a little sloth who owns an island just off the bay. Martin's his name. He says he's been hearing ghosts for about two weeks. So, get this. He hires a team of ghost scientists. What's a ghost scientist? I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> okay. Wow, he kind of just like brushed past that like it didn't even matter. Anyway, he hires some of them, right? And they can't find anything. They've been on the island for two weeks. Whoa. The ghost is still at large. So, the head scientist there, a monkey, calls me up. They need help, and they want the greatest investigator I have. So I said to them, I'll send my best investigator. But Lobster Cop wasn't available. I thought he was talking about me for a second, but of course, Lobster Cop takes all the fucking glory, I guess. Fuck you, Lobster Cop. So I'm asking you, the second best investigator. Uh, I see how it is. I fully understand. Lobster Cop's abilities far outweigh my own. Well, at least he's humble about it. Yeah, but you're pretty good. So, are you up for it? I don't know. Sounds very scary. I'll have to be very brave. He's talking like a child. I believe in you, detective. That's just what I needed to hear. Thank you, supervisor. I'll do it. See, that little bit of encouragement from his supervisor was all he needed. Wahoo! Can you give me a summary of the case before I go? Sure thing. The basics are, there's a sloth who is hearing a lot of spooky ghost noises around his island. He calls a bunch of ghost scientists with their stumps. And it's up to you to solve the mystery of the haunted island. Why did you yell the haunted island like that? Because that's the title of this case. And the title of this game. Fair enough. It's time for you to grab your magnifying glass and get going. See you later, Supervisor. Good luck. Thanks. Alright, I guess now we're gonna go solve the ghost mystery, because these ghost scientists can't fucking handle it. Ah, yes, my trusty magnifying glass. Can't solve mysteries without it. Pretty sure you can. Yay, now I can look at things up close. Alright, let's go. Time to solve a mystery. That's a confident stride right there, you can tell. He's good at his job. A frog detective adventure. This is intense. Starring the detective, of course, Martin, Larry, Mo, the mouse, mouse, Bernie, Fresh X, and the rest, which are just PNG images. Case one, the haunted island. Let's fucking solve a mystery. I'm so ready right now. There he is. Here's the first person I gotta talk to, I guess. This is the monkey my supervisor was talking about. Let's go ahead and talk to him. Ah, you finally made it. Thanks for coming on such short notice. I've heard so much about your adventures. I'm a huge fan. Wow, that's very kind of you. When you figured out who was behind the forest theft in Witchtown, I couldn't believe it. I thought nobody would ever solve that mystery. I mean, who steals an entire forest? Uh, yeah. I don't know how that's possible. Oh, you've been following my blog post? Yes, I'm MysteryMonkey49. I comment all the time. I even made a funny joke once and you responded. Of course, I remember. Hi, MysteryMonkey49. Please, MysteryMonkey49 is my online name. You can just call me MysteryMonkey. Of course. Can I ask you some questions about this case? Questions? Yes. What would you like to know? Well, I guess we'll go ahead and start with the resident. May I ask you who the resident of this island is? Ah, that'd be Martin. You can find him hiding in the forest. He thinks the ghost can't catch him there. Hmm, very interesting. I'll investigate. Who should I talk to first? You're talking to me already. Alright, you fucking smartass. Okay, who should I talk to second? Hmm. Larry, the tall red one. He always wants to meet new people. Although, I think mostly he wants new people to meet him. Not so much the other way around. I'll check it out. Thanks. What else would you like to know? I think that's it. I don't need... I don't think there's any other options. I think I'll come back later after some investigation. See you around. Alright, so there's our first person. Alright, so here's Larry. Um, I want to go talk to this guy first. Because he's just kind of chilling in the ocean for no reason. I'm sure he has a reason. But I kind of want to keep the story going, so I'm going to go ahead and talk to Larry here. Larry. Hi. It's me, Larry. Yeah, I can see that. Hello. I did not do it. Huh? The noises are not coming from me. I didn't... I, Larry, did not make these spooky noises. Okay. That's like more suspicious somehow. I'm gonna have to agree with the detective here. What? Are you even listening? I said I didn't make the noises. No, I heard. I just... 
I don't like being accused like this. <laughs> Could you just shut the fuck up for like five seconds? You're, you're like making your case worse here. I'm not accusing you. Oh, you're not? That's such a relief. Yeah, if you'd shut up and actually fucking listen, you'd know that. This dude's just fucking dumbfounded right now, you can tell. Can I- are you gonna ask me questions? I'm fucking trying to. Yeah, ask me them. The questions, I mean. Oh my god. Alright, the noises. We'll start with that. What can you tell me about the noise? Firstly, I am not the one making them. You already said that. <laughs> yup. But I know where they're coming from. What? They're coming from the cave in the forest. Why haven't you told anyone? Nobody listens to me. Well, I fucking wonder why. They say stuff like, well, Larry, if you won't listen to us, we won't listen to you. Which is so weird because I do listen. No, you don't. Maybe they meet. I'm a really great listener. Oh, oh, God. So how do we get into the cave? Well, I need a few things. To get through there, you'll need some sort of explosive device. Is that safe? We're dealing with ghosts here, detective. None of this is safe. Okay, so you're gonna make this even worse for everyone on the island. Cool. Anyway, I need a few things. I looked up an explosive recipe in one of the old chemistry books. I need toothpaste, some wool, a chunk of pure gold, and some pasta. Oh, so there are no more explosive ingredients then. What fucking book are y'all reading? Yes, if you want to get into that cave, bring me those ingredients. I'll do my best. Ask me them. The questions, I mean. Alright, nothing right now. I'm good, thanks. This guy was a fucking handful. Right, let's talk to this guy right here. Hi. Howdy. What are you doing in there? Swimming. But there's a storm. Eh, it's not raining yet. Besides, it's not actually that unsafe to swim in storms. Everyone keeps telling me to get out of the sea. But it's safer in here than it is up there. Why is that? No ghosts in the water. Ghosts can't swim. How do you know? Martin said, You don't look that happy in there. I guess I'm not. Sorry to hear it. Thanks. May I ask why you're so sad? Well, it's kind of silly. I really want a magnet. Why do you want a magnet? I told you it's silly. Why do you want a magnet? Okay, yeah, he's thinking the same thing I'm thinking. Well, go on. My dream is to attach a magnet to a boat and hold on. Oh, why? Boats are fast. I'm not fast. I want to know how this dude's brain works. If I hold on to a magnet, I'll be really fast too. Nice. Right? I don't have any idea where to find one though. And even if I did, there was no way I'm getting out of here. Not until the ghost is found. That's interesting. Is there anything you need to know? Uh, yes, there is. The magnet. Why did you want that magnet? Okay, so he's just... Okay, it's going to explain that again. If it sweetens the deal, I can give you... The, oh, okay, something different. If it sweetens the deal, I can give you this big shell in return. Okay. So there's a little detail in there that I was going to miss, I guess. I thought it might be magnetic, but it's not. Dude. Okay. Why would you think a shell was magnetic? How was I supposed to know? What am I, a scientist? <laughs> this dude fucking has no clue what to do with himself. I... Okay. Is there, <laughs> is there anything you need to know? The ghost. What can you tell me about the ghost? Well, not much, I guess. I heard noises coming from the holes around the island. They freaked me out so badly that I grabbed my floaty and got in here. How long have you been in the water for? Hmm, maybe two weeks? Holy shit! Dude, get the fuck out of the water. Your feet must be wrinkly as fuck. Whoa, are your feet wrinkly? Holy shit. Ew, I don't know. You should check. Maybe later. Is there anything you need to know? Oh my god, dude. These fucking people are retarded. Nothing for the moment, but I'll come back. Hopefully with a magnet. Sure thing. Alright, so I gotta go find a magnet for him, and then I gotta find macaroni, gold, whatever else I need to find for this fucking idiot. Ooh, there's some, uh, it's macaroni here. Yum. But it's not mine. Alright, so I can't pick it up yet. I guess I gotta talk to this dude first. Hey, you're that detective, right? The one that monkey keeps going on about? That's me. I'm so glad they finally brought someone else in. I know nothing. I really shouldn't have taken this job. Yeah, none of you should have taken this job. Why did you take it? I'll be honest, I thought it was a secret agent job. Why would you think that? The job listing said ghost scientist. That didn't sound like a real job to me. I thought it was like a cover, you know? One that only smart people could figure out, like me. Uh, none of you seem very smart, if I'm going to be honest. It still could be a cover. Maybe they're testing you? Oh no, you're right. I better look competent. I'm only joking. Sure. Can I ask you questions about the case? What else do you want to know? Alright, so about the hole. What do you know about the noises coming from this hole? I mean, I'm not great at this job. I'd be good at other jobs, I'm just letting you know, but... It does seem like the noises that are coming from this hole aren't from a natural creature. They seem otherworldly somehow, and they have a weird and distinct tone. Sometimes, it sounds like a bird's call. But only sometimes. Wow, that's a lot of good information, thanks. Yes, I'm very good at finding things out, if you know what I mean. Bernie, I'm not a secret agent. Uh-huh. You mentioned you want to be a secret agent. Why? 
Ugh. Secret agents get the best stuff. Like, for example, you got a cool magnifying glass. I want one of those. I'm not a secret agent. Sure you're not. Bernie winks. Even if I can't be a secret agent, the things I'd give up for a magnifying glass, there's nothing I want more. Interesting. All right, so I'm about to find a magnifying glass for this dude, obviously. Why did you want a magnifying glass again? What do you mean, why? Everyone knows that a magnifying glass is the coolest of the secret agent items. How could you, a secret agent, not know that? Listen, fine, fine, you're not a secret agent, whatever. What else do you want to know? I don't want to know anything else, but I want to get off this fucking island. I'll come back with some questions later. Suit yourself. Let's talk to uh, Fresh X over here. He's looking pretty fresh, not gonna lie. Fresh X, howdy. Hello. Are you the, uh... Yup. Great. You brought my toothpaste shipment? Huh? Uh, no. I'm the detective. Oh, okay. Can I call you DTEC? And from the look of uh, detective here, it seems like that's gonna be a no. And he knows it? Yes. Oh, never mind. Okay. I guess he doesn't mind then. Nice. I have some questions. Is that okay? Take it away, DTEC. All right, your clothes. Why aren't you wearing a lab coat like the other scientists? It's my day off. I've been working so hard the past two weeks. It's very important to take a break and get some sun. You're right. Uh, not about the sun. About taking a day off. Yeah, I didn't pick a great day for it. Sorry to question you on your day off. Hope you don't mind me saying it, but you have wonderful teeth. Oh, he liked that. Thank you. I'm so glad someone finally noticed. How do you keep them so pearly white? Well, Dr. Tight Smiles 101 Tooth Whitening Cool Paste for Teeth, of course. That's a fucking mouthful. Dr. Tight Smile. Oh my god, they're gonna make me say it again. I get a shipment here every three days. I go through this stuff so quickly. I'm down to my last tube. How the fuck are they delivering it to you by boat? Wow, where can I get some of my own? Do. Do you have teeth? I don't think you do. Um, well, I could give you my tube. But I would need something else to keep my mouth fresh. Oh, that's right. We need toothpaste. I didn't even notice that there. I'll think about it. Can I ask you some more questions? Take it away, DTEC. Uh, nothing right now, I guess. I'll come back later with some questions. See ya, DTEC. Alright, so now we found toothpaste, which is sitting right there under, uh, Fresh X. And we got some macaroni there, so we probably won't be able to get those just yet until I talk to more people. Alright, I'm gonna go talk to this, uh, sheep over here. Noodle. Hey. How's it hanging? Eh, fine, I guess. Bored, mostly. Bored? That's suspicious. Suspicious? Why? Surely you can't just say I'm suspicious. There's no rule against it. I'm not being suspicious at all. I guess not. Sorry for calling you suspicious. What the fuck was the point of that? That's okay. Why are you bored? Isn't hunting ghosts supposed to be, like, exciting? For the first week? Sure. Not now, though. I've been at this post the entire time. I'm shedding everywhere. Gross. I know. Why are you shedding so much? I haven't had a trim in ages. It's so yuck. Split ends everywhere. I'm usually getting cut once a week, but it's been two weeks now. Yuck. It's so gross. It's totally fine. Thanks for trying to spare my feelings. You're welcome, buddy. But there's wool everywhere, which is another item I need, I guess. I think everyone is grossed out by it. Aw, surely that's not true. Eh, maybe not. But it feels true in my heart. I think most people like wool. It's used for so much stuff. Like what? Uh, my jumper's made out of wool. Haha, uh -huh, are you for real? Yeah. That's weird. It's weird that you're wearing my hair. You're probably doing the same thing. Wool is pretty gross, and that's why I keep mine short. I don't think wool is gross at all. Okay, but what if I wore a coat made out of your slime? What? Ew. Gross, right? Sure, but... Slime is kind of gross anyway. And I'm saying that as someone who is very slimy. Wool is worn by most people. This is the first time I've heard of someone wearing wool. I think that makes you the weird one. Plus, I'm pretty sure the shirt you're wearing is made of wool. What? I'm wearing another sheep's hair? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Gross. I'm happy to take your wool away from you if you like. I mean... Your own wool, not your shirt. Oh, yes, please. But you'll need something to clean it up with. Like a broom. Or a fire. Cool. Okay. I probably won't use fire. That is the, uh, the common sense route. Okay. Can't believe I'm wearing wool. What if it's Barney's? That must be his inner thoughts. What can you tell me about this hole? I hate this hole. Why? It never does anything. It's a hole. I'm a ghost scientist. I want to see ghosts. Not holes. Maybe the ghost is in the hole? Have you looked? I've looked. No ghost in there. It's a pretty deep hole, but it gets smaller as you go down. So maybe there's a ghost further down? Do you hear any ghost noises coming from this hole? Sometimes. But not as many as Bernie and Larry's hole. Now that's a noisy hole. I wish I could hang out there. Who's stopping you? 
The boss. Who's the boss? I... Don't know. Maybe Mystery Monkey? Maybe? Maybe not. Okay. What if I ask you some more questions? Ask away. I don't think there's anything else. No questions right now. Thanks. So can I go down this hole? Let me see if I can go down it. Oh, I can. Hmm. I should have listened to the sign. Oh, yeah, the sign says science line. Don't go in. Okay, well, that was a waste of time. Oh, here's a magnet here. All right, so I can go and give this to the koala in the water then. I brought you a magnet. What? Like, a real one? Are you for real? Yeah. This is a dream come true. Thank you so much. No problem. In return, I'll give you this big shell. I don't need it anyway. Great. Thanks. Uh, let's go talk to these guys back here. Let's talk to this guy first. Oh. You got all standoffish with me. Ah, stop it right there. Uh oh. Why? My shells. Don't step on my shells. Oh, I won't. We can't be sure of that. Dude, fucking calm down. They're very fragile and small. Aren't we all? I guess. Please be careful. Okay. Are you still going to stand like that? Yeah. Why? I'm alarmed. I'm on alert. I'm protecting my shells from dangerous frog feet. Wow. Sorry. I'm just worked up about my shells. I don't mean to be rude, but what shells? I can't see any shells. That's because they're small. How small? Too small for your weak magnifying glass. Wow. Sorry, but it's the truth. I had to get this one specifically made for my tiny shells. Fine. Do you know anything about that cave? Huh? What? No. I'm not even sure that's a cave. It just looks like a pile of rocks if you ask me. It's a cave for sure. Well, I guess we'll just agree to disagree. It's a literally confirmed cave. Potato, potato. Nobody pronounces it like potato. I do. Of course you do. Really? Yeah. Fair enough. Why don't you just get a bigger shell? Ha! Ha ha ha. You fool. Hey. Sorry. It's just that there's not that many big shells around here. If I could get one, sure. This magnifying glass would be useless to me. But I don't see a big shell around here. Do you? Well, I got one right in my pocket right here. I have a big shell if you want it. What? How? It's a long story. Oh, in that case, I don't care. I hate stories. Okay. Anyway, I totally want the shell. Can I swap you for it? I had this magnifying glass to look at the tiny shells, but I won't need it now because I have this big shell. Cool, thanks. You're still standing weird. I'm still on alert. I'm gonna take the magnifying glass of the bear over here. He might give me that, I'm not sure, we'll see. I have a spare magnifying glass if you're interested. Interested? Are you kidding me? There's very literally nothing I want more. Here you go. This is the best day ever. All my dreams are coming true. Is there anything I can do to repay you? Do you need any help with your secret agent business? Again, not a secret agent. Fine, fine. I can give you my lunch. Ooh, what's cooking? Pasta, as always. If there's one thing I love, apart from the thrill of secrecy, it's pasta. Anyway, my appetite is satisfied from the deliciousness of this magnifying glass. Please don't fucking eat it. That's a weird way to word that. Whatever. Would you like the pasta? Uh, fuck yeah, I'd like the pasta. I can make a bomb with that. All right. So I'm gonna go back to these guys over here. Oh, here's a broom right here. Yeah, I'm gonna need that real quick. I can use that to go clean up the wool. Hey, buddy, I got a broom. I can clean up your wool now. Hey, I got that broom. Ready to clean? Yes, amazing. Thanks, detective. Can I keep this broom? Absolutely. Can I keep your wool? <laughs> he didn't like that. It's still weird. But yeah, knock yourself out. What? I mean, like, take all the wool you want. Not physically knock yourself out. Phew. Okay, so the detective seems just as stupid as everyone here on the island. Alright, so we got two ingredients now. Now we just need, what, toothpaste and gold? Alright, let's talk to this mouse over here. Hi. Hello. Are you okay? He doesn't seem okay. Yes. Are you sure? Well, I've just never talked to a detective before. I've heard so many nice things about you. I don't want to be embarrassing. If I'm embarrassing, that would be very bad. You're not embarrassing. That's very good news. But the conversation isn't over. There's still time. I have to be careful. Oh, you seem very nervous. May I ask why? Uh, because of the detective thing I told you? Um, I'm afraid of detectives. Maybe when I was a kid, I had a bad dream about a detective. Something like that. I don't know. Sorry to hear about that dream. What? Oh, I didn't actually have a dream about that. So why are you so afraid of me? I mean, unless you're guilty of something, but that seems highly unlikely. Fine, you've worn me down. Damn your extreme detective skills. I'm nervous because of Mystery Monkey. All right, 
Cool. Mystery Monkey is a huge fan of your blog, so I don't want to make a fool of myself in front of you. I just think Mystery Monkey is super neat, and I don't want to be embarrassing in, in case I mess everything up. Oh, well, is there anything I can do to help? Hmm. There's a dance competition coming up tomorrow. I want to compete and show Mystery Monkey that I'm really good at dancing. But I don't know what style of dance will impress them. Did you ask Mystery Monkey and find out? I can give you this mouthwash, mouthwash. Wait. No. That's not how... No, that's not how that... Okay. Mouse wash, mouthwash. In return. There's a lot of fucking tongue twisters in this game. What can you tell me about the ghost? There's a ghost? Aren't you a ghost scientist? Oh. Ghost scientist. Not toast scientist. That makes so much more sense. You thought you were a toast scientist? Yeah. I only took the job because, you know... You like toast, maybe? Uh, you know... Because you like toast. Yeah. What have you been doing this whole time? Not thinking about ghosts, that's for sure. How spooky. So you haven't heard any weird noises? Oh, for sure. Heaps of weird noises. I don't think they're coming from a ghost, though. What makes you say that? I haven't seen anything floating around as if a ghost was holding it. That happens in the movies. I'll keep an eye out, though. Sure thing. Alright, we're gonna go talk to Mystery Monkey and see what kind of dance he likes for some reason because that has everything to do with a ghost. Hey, so, uh, you, uh, you like dancing and, um, dance styles? I don't understand. Um, I like dancing a lot, if that's what you're asking. Yeah, kind of. Uh, what type of dancing do you like the best? Well, I basically only have one move. Yeah, but like, uh, if you saw someone dancing, What's, in what scenario would you most likely be like, this is such a great dance? What? I guess what I'm trying to ask is, what dance style do you like the best? Oh, um, I think breakdancing is so neat. If I saw someone breakdancing, wow, I would swoon. I would even go as far as to say, if I saw someone breakdance, I would be so deeply impressed. That's great. Sorry for such a strange question. That's okay. I'm sure it's important in the case. Not really, but, you know, we gotta do this. Anyway, I'll see you later. Bye. Got a monkey fact. All right. Cool. So now he likes dancing. I'm going to go back to the mouse and tell him that. Hey, I talked to Mystery Monkey. Oh my gosh. Did you mention me? What did Mystery Monkey say? Does Mystery Monkey hate me? I'm so embarrassing. I didn't mention you. Phew. Mystery Monkey likes breakdancing the best. Breakdancing. I think I can do that. I got to start practicing now, though. Good luck. Thanks. Oh, here's the mouthwash before I forget. Cheers. Oh, he's practicing his dance moves. Oh, hell yeah. All right, I'm gonna talk to this last dude here before I give uh, Fresh X his mouthwash. Sorry, his mouse wash mouthwash. Wow, who are you? I didn't mean to startle you. I'm the frog detective here from the agency. Oh, okay. Don't sneak up on me like that. I didn't sneak up on you, though. I was visible for the entire approach. Well, fine. I guess just don't look so spooky. Okay, I'll do my best. I'm sorry I'm so cranky. I haven't slept in two weeks. I'm Martin, king of the island. You're a king? Well, when I got here, there was nobody else on the island except for me and Finley. Uh, so I thought it was fine to declare myself king. Finley? I don't think Finley cares about that sort of stuff. Finley mostly cares about the dance competition. No, I meant to ask, who's Finley? Oh, okay then. Do you mind if I ask a few questions? We're just gonna brush past that. You mentioned your friend Finley, who's that? Finley lives on a nearby island and comes to visit every few days. The last time I saw Finley, she was talking about the, the song she wanted to dance to for the competition. Her moves were pretty amazing. Not like me. She'll probably win. I haven't seen her in a while, but she's probably still prepping for the competition. It's tomorrow. Not that I'll be able to compete. What with this whole spooky situation going on. Martin sighs. You mentioned a dance competition. Can you tell me a little more? It's tomorrow. Anything else? Best dancer wins. Okay. Can you tell me about the noises and where they're coming from? I'm not exactly sure where they're coming from, but I know they're coming from a ghost. How do you know for sure? I have a book about ghosts. It's called The Ghost Guide, Foolproof Ways to Detect a Spirit. I read most of it. Anyway, in the book it says that most ghosts can't be seen. And get this, I haven't seen a single ghost yet. The proof is all there. You seem super nervous. Is there anything I can do to help? It's just the ghost getting me down. I haven't been able to sleep. I'm kind of annoyed too, because I usually love hearing stories about ghosts. I read all about them in the cyberweb.com. I don't think that's a website. But now, I'm living one. I'm sure we'll get to the bottom of things. Bottom of the grave, more like. That's a pretty pessimistic way of thinking. What? That made more sense in my head. I guess I mean like, we'll probably die before the mystery is solved. God damn, dude. That's very dark. 
dark, just like the conclusion to this tale. I don't think I want to keep talking. <laughs> the fucking mouse is just break dancing in the background. I don't think I want to talk to this dude anymore. Sorry if I'm being dramatic. You know, I'm a good detective, right? I've solved every case I've taken on, except the mystery of how to put a hat on. My head is a strange shape. It really is. The point is, you're safe. I'm going to find the culprit. The best thing you can do is sit here and relax. Everything will be okay. I don't feel okay. I'm finding really hard to calm down. I understand. Ghosts are scary. But it might not be a ghost. You really think it's not a ghost? I don't know for sure. Oh. Let's try a visualization exercise. What's a vis you lishision exorcism? That is not what I fucking said. It's a thing where we pretend. Imagine you're on a beach surrounded by calming waves. You can feel a cool breeze on your face. The waves are slowly moving in and then out. It is a safe beach. What beach is it? This beach. This isn't a safe beach. There's a ghost here. No. The ghost is on holiday. Oh. Okay. Where is it? On a road trip. Cool. Can we visualize that we're on a road trip instead? But the ghost is on a road trip. Great point. Continue. Anyway, the waves are coming in and out slowly. There's nothing to worry about. The ghosts are... <laughs> I keep fucking getting distracted by that mouse in the background. No ghosts around at all. The ghost is on a road trip. Yep. Nothing to fear. A nice sandy beach. Just me and the ocean. How do you feel? So relaxed. Great. Me too. Thanks so much, detective. That's okay. I want to give you something as thanks. Perhaps a piece of my crown. It's made of gold, isn't it? Yep. Fuck yes. We got gold. Wow. That's so kind. It's really heavy. It's made of pure gold. Yeah, yeah, it better be, bitch. Why? I like gold. Okay. All right. So we got gold, mouthwash, and fucking wool and pasta. So we're going to go... What I'm going to do first, I'm going to fresh X and give him his mouthwash. I have some mouthwash for you. Amazing. Thanks. Am I able to use your toothpaste? I almost forgot. Here you go, D-Tech. Got toothpaste. Okay, so I think we have all of our ingredients for a bomb, which makes no fucking sense. But I'll, I'm gonna roll with it. Let's make some dynamite. Let's see. Wow. You got everything? Yep. Amazing. Shall we make some dynamite? Let's do it. Nice. I'll cook up some dynamite and we can get exploding, baby. Well, this is it. Yep. Time to blow this cave up. Larry? Explosives are dangerous. Sorry. Time to carefully blow this cave up. Thanks. No worries. I'm nervous. Me too. And I'm not even coming into the cave. You're not? I don't like dark spaces. I'm a sunny boy, baby. I'm not a baby. Sorry. Anyway, good luck. Look after yourself in there. Thanks, Larry. Let's do this. I feel like as soon as I step foot in that cave, I'm gonna get fucking mauled by something. This cave isn't that bad. I hear music. Oh. Someone's practicing for a dance competition, I assume. Oh, it's Finley. Okay, cool. This is where Finley's been. Who are you? Are you a ghost? Haha, uh -huh, what? I don't think so. Are you sure? Hmm. Yep. That's great. You're not wrong. So, uh... Who are you? Finley. Who are you? The detective. Scotty. Wait a minute. Finley. I know that name. I'm pretty well known around the local dance circles. That's not it. Oh. You're Martin's friend. Yeah. What are you doing down here? Practicing for the dance competition. It's tomorrow. How long have you been down here? Uh, hmm. Geez, like two weeks, I guess? I didn't even realize. Wait. Two weeks? Have you seen any ghosts around? Haha. <laughs> nah. Just me down here. Does Martin know you're here? I don't think so. He never comes down here. Really? Why not? He thinks every dark space is haunted. He reads all those ghost books and thinks there's a ghost in every crevice. It's good for me, though. Perfect spot to train. You've been dancing for two weeks straight. Haha, uh -huh. yeah. Aren't you tired? I mean, I take naps. And these mushrooms are super nutritious. Gross. Mushrooms are disgusting. That's your opinion, detective. No, it's a fact. Okay, anyway. Martin's been super spooked up because he's been hearing weird noises all over the island. Any idea what the noises could be? Hmm... I've been listening to my radio while dancing. The cave has a lot of holes. The sound from your radio could have easily traveled up to the surface. I bet it sounds super warped, too. You know, you've been trapped in here, right? The cave has been blocked off by rocks. Uh-huh. Really? Uh-huh. Yeah. That's so funny. Not fucking really. Yeah, you could have died. Haha. Uh -huh. Then I actually could be a ghost. I didn't even think of that. Yeah. Fucking, this is so awkward. Anyway, we should get back to the island after this fucking 
NPC conversation. Fucking island full of idiots, man. That's all this game is. I've just been talking to idiots. All right, well, Martin surprised us here. Finley? Hi, Martin. Hi. Hey. Hi. <laughs> okay. What are you doing here? I was in the cave. You... What? How did you get in? It's been sealed up for weeks. Two weeks, to be exact. As it turns out, there was never a ghost. It was Finley in the cave all along. She was so wrapped up in practicing, she didn't even notice the cave got caved in. The noises from her radio carried up to the surface and sounded super spooky. But... My ghost books? I was so sure it was a ghost. Nope. Just me. It just goes to show you should never trust books. Uh-oh. Uh, uh Always use the internet instead. Don't... Don't do that. Books are, without question, factually inaccurate. Uh-oh. Grace Bruckner. Hi there. Apologies for the interruption. I hope you're enjoying the game. I won't keep you for long. While I agree with the detective on most issues, there are contexts in which books can be very useful and informative. <laughs> Alright, so you're you're explaining your joke here, is what you're doing. I see what you... Okay, I got you. It's important to check out the validity of the author's sources, and to check if the book is up to date. The internet can also be a useful place to find information. Make sure you're getting your information from a trusted site. Thank you for your time. And enjoy the rest of the game after I explain my joke to you. So anyway, as I was saying, books have no place in our society. Oh shit. Sure thing. That makes a lot of sense. Thank you for opening my eyes to the uselessness of books. Yes, always use the internet. Everything on the internet that you see is true. You should believe everything you see on the internet. So just to be clear, you were practicing for the competition this whole time. Yep. I'm in it to win it. I'm still not entirely sure what this dance competition involves. Dance competition? Best dancer wins. Who else is competing? Hmm. That's a good point. Just us, I guess. Don't forget Mo the Mouse. Who? One of the ghost scientists. The what? Don't worry about it. I think we need more entrance. I know a few hardworking friends who could use a good boogie, but they won't be here tomorrow. Well, let's move the competition to today. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Stop doing that. Before we dance, I just want to say, thanks for solving the mystery, Detective. No problem at all. I had a lot of help. Larry figured out where the noises were coming from. Larry. Is that the lobster? The one that talks over everybody? Yup. See, he knows from experience. Well, I'll give my thanks to Larry too. So, shall we boogie? Let's go. Alright, dance competition time. Let's fucking get down. Oh, hell yeah. Fucking, let's go. Oh shit, the detective's dancing. Oh, should I get to pick the winner? Oh, fuck. Which, uh, basically, it's gonna boil down to which one of these fuckers do I like the most. I like Fresh X. Fresh X didn't seem like a fucking retard like everybody else, so I'm gonna pick him. Oh, they fucking showered him in, like, roses and shit. He got a whole- he had a whole ass trophy. Where'd they get that from? I guess they brought it to the island with him. A little bit later. Alright, phone's ringing. We're back in our home, I guess. Very barren home. Frog Detective, Crime Solving Agency. Frog Detective speaking. How may I help you? Detective. Supervisor. Great work on the Haunted Island mystery. Thank you. I tried really hard. I don't think even Lobster Cop could have solved that one. I think you're underestimating Lobster Cop. There's a reason he's number one. Anyway, I saw you busted a group at the dance competition. Yeah. Where did you see that at? It was on TV. Every channel. Every channel? In HD. Cool. I didn't even see any cameras. Well, you certainly impressed the public. My phone has been ringing off the hook. Most of the calls are about your dancing. But I did get one call about a case. Have you heard of the Warlock Woods? I haven't. Well, there's something very strange going on there. They need our best investigator on the job. Officer Cop wasn't available? Nah. Can you handle another case, Detective? I can handle anything. The detective will return in... The Case of the Invisible Wizard. Alright, so you know what that means. I gotta play this one too. And the third one that just recently released. Alright, well I'm for sure gonna play the second and third game after this. I actually really enjoyed it. Thanks Humble Bundle for giving me a good game even though your fucking humble choice is shit now.